in this video we are going to learn the logical proof of thales theorem or basic proportionality theorem here before that we are going to do an activity consider one triangle now draw a parallel line to any one side of the triangle it divides the other two sides proportionally which means the ratios are equal let us see this by drawing another parallel line for other line here also other two sides are in proportional let's check by varying the length of the triangle now see even though if we vary the length of the triangle the ratios remain same now we can generalize this as if a line is drawn parallel to any one of the side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points then the other two sides divides in the same ratio you know that in ancient period only this was proved by a famous greek mathematician thales let us learn the logical proof of this statement for that we need to recall two important properties of a triangle consider two triangles with the same base between same parallel lines let us recall that the areas of these two triangles are equal how let us see first consider triangle hij and triangle eij you can notice that they have the same base ij to know the areas of these two triangles we need altitudes of these two triangles let us drop altitude to the base from the vertex it is nothing but the distance between two parallel lines let us consider the ratio of the areas of these two triangles area of triangle hij by area of triangle eij is equal to half into ij into eg divided by half into ij into hf here we know ij is common that is same base eg and hf are equal that is the distance between two parallel lines hence we get ratio of these two triangles is equal to 1 therefore the area of triangle hij is equal to area of triangle eij one more important property that you can notice here that the altitude of the acute angle triangle lies inside the triangle but the altitude drawn to an obtuse angle triangle to the base having obtuse angle is outside the triangle now let us learn the logical proof of the thales theorem for that once again we consider the statement if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points the other two sides are divided in the same ratio for this we need a triangle here i am considering abc triangle for this i am drawing a parallel line de to the bc and this parallel line intersects ab and ac at d and e respectively this is the given part of the theorem next we have to prove that the ratio of ad by db equals ae by ec to prove this we need to take the ratio of ad and db uh, ae and ec so this we can do by considering the area of the triangle with this basis for that to compare the area of two triangles if you see that here we have bc de trapezium to get the triangles i am joining b and e c and d when i join these two i am getting bde triangle and dec triangle so to find the area we require altitude so next i am drawing the altitude for the triangle ade with the base ae here the altitude is dm this is the altitude for the triangle dec also and 
I am drawing one more altitude to the triangle ADE for the base AD from the vertex E that is EN. EN is also the altitude for the triangle BDE. Let us start the proof. Here first I am comparing the triangle ADE with the triangle BDE. For that I am considering the area of the triangle ADE. We know that area of the triangle is half into base into height. Here in triangle ADE, first I am taking AD as the base. For AD base, EN is the perpendicular. Therefore, area of triangle ADE is half into base into height. That is half into AD into EN. Next I am comparing this area of ADE with the triangle BDE. Here area of triangle BDE is half into base into height that is BDE is the base and EN is the altitude. You can observe the triangle BDE. Next I am taking one more ratio with the base AE that is here I am considering the triangle ADE. Here I am considering the base as AE. So DM is the perpendicular line dropped from D. So area of triangle ADE is half into AE into DM. Next I am considering area of triangle CDE. Here the base is CE. Again DM is the perpendicular height. So you can observe the triangle DEC. CE is the base and DM is the perpendicular height. To find the ratio, I am considering the ratio of area of triangle ADE by area of triangle BDE. You know that area of triangle ADE is half into AD into EN by half into BD into EN. Here if we cancel the common things, we are left with AD divided by BD. We call this as equation 1. Next, let us consider the one more ratio area of triangle ADE. Now I am taking area of triangle CDE. Here also after cancelling the common things, we are left with AE divided by CE. Let us call this as equation 2. Here to equate the RHS side that is AD by BD is equal to AE by CE. To make this these two equals, we have to equate the LHS side. If you observe in the numerator, we have common that is area of triangle ADE. If the denominator is equal, then easily we can equate the LHS side. For that, so let us recall that we have uh, learnt that is area of triangle BDE and area of triangle DEC. Both are same because they are between the same parallel with the same base. Hence, the area of these two triangles are equal. Substituting this in equation 1 and 2, we have area of ADE divided by area of BDE equals area of ADE by area of CDE. From one, equation 1, 2 and 3, we have area of ADE divided by area of BDE is equal to area of ADE by area of CDE. Hence, we can equate the RHS side that is ratio of AD by BD equals AE by CE. Hence, proved. So, this how we prove the Thales theorem logically. Thank you.